Hey, hey, hey. This whole idea of authenticity is such a big moniker these days. People are bandying about, just be authentic. Bring your authenticity. All you need is your authentic self. And you know it, you've heard it, I know it, I see it on a regular basis. And there is a difference between what the person creating thinks of as authentic and what the person on the other side of the video, what you're looking at right now when you see me, the way you register my sense of authenticity. There's a reason for that. It's actually a performative understanding of the power of delivery. Now, before I talk about that, you may in fact think that you are good at being authentic. While I don't know exactly what you're imagining when you think of your skills, chances are good that you're delusionally wrong. <laughs> and it's not that it's bad. It's not that it's, you know, like you're not, you're not bad at it. You just need to learn more. But Paul, I've been doing this for years. Well, that doesn't mean that you can't learn something new. Do you think you've actually mastered most of the things in your life that you're actually still a student at? Yeah, right. So the whole idea here is to distinguish between what it means to bring it and what other people actually take in. You see, if you're not clear, concise, impactful, effective, and respectful of people's time, you are going to actually do a less than stellar job at communicating the things that you truly believe in. So, I think of this stuff as authenticity plus. Authenticity plus is what's required in order for other people to read what you're delivering as authentic. Most of the people in this online business space and authenticity is like, you know, people pass it off as if it's simple. You think it's simple, they think it's simple because they've been doing it for most of their lives. I've been just me talking for a long time. How hard can talking be? Well, the fact is that most professional speakers, talkers, actors, performers, presenters have trained extensively to get good at it so that they can learn all the principles. So again, it comes back to the idea that if you are thinking that you're delivering authentically, the people on the other end are going to receive it as less than authentic. It's going to get actually kind of bland and boring. If you deliver with authenticity plus, they will see it as authentic and they will imagine that they can do it too. It's easy. It's simple. Right. Now, why is that such a big deal? It's a big deal because of this. We're tired of being sold. We crave ethical, honest, badass, straight up, truth spoken passionately from the depths of our soul. When someone does that well and does that in a way that respects my time, I'm going to appreciate it. If they give me something that took them 20 minutes to say and actually at the end of it, I can see that what they could have done was done in, you know, could have been in three minutes or four minutes, I will feel a little cheated out of this extra 16 minutes of my life. So I want you to learn about that stuff. I want you to think about this. And when you're ready, reach out to me and I will show you what I've been teaching people since 1987. It's been a lot of people, countless thousands, 35 countries, often using a translator, doesn't matter. The body language, the power, the impact, these are the tools. Look forward to speaking with you. Go get them. See you later.